just under an inch. Just about under an inch. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Rudy here with your yards of us. And hey, we have snow and it's a little dusting of snow. So I'm gonna um, give you an idea how much we got. This is my measuring stick, my fancy one. So um, yeah, so let's see. Just under an inch, just about under an inch, and that is, and that is already getting ready for blowing it off. So on this property here, we uh, he wants to have it basically shoveled in front of the uh, garage door so we don't blow any snow into the garage. Um, but then it, it's about minus two degrees, so we have to see if the backpack blow actually uh, does work properly. Um, it is kind of like just on the uh, edge of being efficient for a driveway with uh, just about one inch um, and being a little bit warm what happens to what's the end is it might uh, pile up too much for the backpack floor because it's a little bit moist anyways I'll strap you in and uh, see how that goes to clump up already that's because the uh, it's not as cold as it usually is so it starts to clump up once it gets more compacted so uh, we may have to uh, we, we may come to a situation where we have to shovel some of that
right guys so um, as you can see we did manage to uh, blow it all off with the backpack blower and also um, of course you see like blowing all that snow to the bottom there makes it accumulate somewhere and the snow settles the snow settles basically on the bottom there so uh, right now it's kind of like frozen hard so it's kind of like tough for any, any car to drive over and these days I have a bank robber working for me a handsome bank robber at least we don't know because we can't tell <laughs> Anyway, so that's property number one. Looks pretty good. And we are missing a snow shovel. Picking up that snow shovel here. And you can tell this sidewalk here is uh, very icy. That's your flooding that I pointed out earlier. All I see there. Um, at this point, we may not be breaking it up because it's going it's supposed to warm up today again. Yeah. So any ice management today for like pooling or runoff ice probably not going to happen because it's supposed to warm up above freezing today again. Um, so we will have to hit that on a day where it's where the forecast is calling for more constant uh, below freezing conditions so we can uh, fight the ice so it stays ice free for a while at least and next property my fellow snow warriors, Matt is uh, grabbing the backpack here, and um, so this property is a little bit bigger, it's a big driveway. Uh, we start using off with a backpack and may have to um, may have to switch to uh, shoveling it because uh, snow may get too heavy once we get a certain amount of uh, snow piled up with the backpack. So um, I'll strap you in and you see how we do that. You can see it's starting to clump up a little bit on the bottom there. So, uh, and they also don't want to want to shower you in snow. So I'm going to move you.
guys. Pulled out the snowblower here. Getting a little bit thick for the backpack to handle all that uh, snow. So, um, gonna strap you in here with the uh, Toro single stage. Taking care of business.
Okay. okay. So that's it for this one for getting the bug off. Now we're gonna get the uh, backpack roller going again because uh, we have some of the, the loose stuff that we scraped off, like foot tracks and uh, some uh, snow that was packed down. So we're gonna put the single stage away. Grab the backpack again. There we have it. And uh, just blow off all that loose stuff. And then we, we are moving on to the next one. Yeah. Matt is the, uh, the chief operator. You're the chief operator. What's the sound of that? It's You're the chief, to the, the chief operator. <laughs> I like that, yeah. Getting promoted. You think that's what it entails? That's what it sounds like. <laughs> just blow off, just blow off all that... Uh, gotcha. The chunks. Okay, you got this? Yeah, I got it. Put it on, bud. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, so that's it for that property, next property is just one neighbor over and um, I will let you have take part in that one as well. So here at the next property, while Matt is finishing up the other one, um, so this guy here, uh, Good thing is no one drives on that for the most part. So we have like virgin snow coverage. Uh, just a little bit foot traffic on the city sidewalk there. But for the most part, it's all untouched. So yeah, hopefully we can get most of it done with the backpack blower and only have to do a little bit with the uh, single stage. So gonna strap you in right there as well. Alright, better clean you off here. Better clean you off. Whew. Anyways. So uh, we have, let me swing you around, fun about my snotty nose again, runny nose, although it's not very cold, my nose is still running. Anyway, so uh, what I was saying, like the snow's starting to get too heavy doing it all with the backpack, so that's why we switched to the single stage snowblower throughout the property. It's more efficient. And um, yes, and we don't have all the snow coming on to the uh, front of the driveway where it piles up and creating a possible uh, mess in the future. 
I'm going to strap you in. How we do this uh, single stage blowery operation on this uh, beautiful property here. And it looks like we may have to uh, change the paddles on this one. It looks like it's not throwing it far enough. So those rubber paddles do wear out over the over time. And indication is that it doesn't really throw it out of the chute properly or far enough. I also have to check the the wear on the panel itself but I'm pretty sure we are already like uh, almost through January and still on the first set of panels for this winter so I'm pretty sure by that time they are like worn out
Okay, this property is nicely done. We just blew it off with the backpack after we had the single stage taking care of business. Looks good. Just chewing on a little carrot here. So we're just kind of like wrapping things up. Matt is navigating the treacherous neighborhood with all the ice there run off from the windrows. Gonna lump those shovels there. They last uh, an eternity, pretty much. Although not cheap. They're also great for a little bit of chopping action and scraping if you turn them upside down. All right. So we will continue. We have a few more properties and I will check in later. So here we are on uh, this property. We cleared the snow already as you can see. They have uh, pavers but it's very slick. So we're gonna put down ice melt to make it safe again. So I'm gonna have ice melt here and I'm gonna put it down with the spreader here. The earthway, high output and put down the uh, ice melt there. Melts all and I'm zooming in on that. Minus 28 Celsius. You want to fill it in? Did the hopper? Ah. Put it in. Mm, put it all in. Please. Dump it. Yeah. Every single little bit. You got it? All right. So I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna strap you in. I'm gonna strap you in, guys. I'm gonna strap you in. Right there. Is that good? All right. All right, all done. Matt is wrapping up the backpack. He's been chopping away on a roof avalanche. We have a very steep roof here. And with the warm weather that has been sliding off, dumping it all onto the driveway. So it was a little bit iced up. Right, Matt? Hello? 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 It was a little bit icy, eh? <laughs> I guess he's uh, still boogered out about all his hard work there. So well done. Okay, so that's a wrap on this property. Should be safe again by the evening once the ice melt has worked and the sun is kind of like out a little bit and it's kind of warm anyways. But those pavers, they behave differently. They store the, the cold temperature way longer than regular concrete. Um, so we have to pound it down really hard with the ice melt to uh, get rid of the ice. Anyways, I'll talk to you later and be safe out there. All right, we are here in Spruce Grove now. We have done the City of Champions, Edmonton. Matt, it's time to say goodbye to our fellow watchers viewers absolutely well you guys have a good one enjoy your tims and 
Keep your stick on the ice. If you don't know what he's talking about, this is your Tim's coffee. Truly Canadian. Keep your toque on, keep your stick on the ice. Yeah, that's what we have there, right? Yes. Kind of. <laughs> Pretty much. Anyways, over out. This is Rudy here with the Oriatsevis. Enjoy the rest of your day. Please hit like and subscribe. And we'll bring you more snow removal videos in the future. Over and out. Cheers.